first of four berths in the conference championships on the line here as divisional weekend in the NFL is underway. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. They'll run, it's Edwards-Alaire. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. He was tackled at the 46. A quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Brings up second and four. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Working from the gun, Mahomes. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Seven yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Now Mahomes. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Bradley Chubb came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Third down. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And he's got Hardman in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Miko Hardman, 46 yards. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7 0 KC. The score Chiefs 7, Broncos nothing. Harrison Bunker to kick off for Kansas City. Now, after the touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. At their own 25-yard line. Lock and the Broncos going to come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll run. This is Melvin Gordon. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. 
from the gun. It's locked. And this will be caught at the 30. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Complete to number Cortland Sutton, 63 yards. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying the football game. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Seven. Brandon McManus to kick off for Denver. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right there he goes right side. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Nicole Hardman with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now, with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25 yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They're forced to play catch up early in this division round game as they search for a seat in the AFC Championship round. Flushed out right. He'll give this one to Patrick. A lot of work to get away and outside of the pocket, but no actual yardage there on the catch. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now this throw caught left side. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Denver. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Taking the snap at one. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. A Hall of Fame coach once said, there are no medals for trying. And that wasn't a trying effort, was it? That was a winning effort. How about that great catch? Excellent. They know, hey, you lose this game, you get a ding or two. You got seven months to heal. They're going to go all out. Now the first carry here for Philip Lindsay. And down inside the 15 he goes. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. On first down, right back to Lindsay. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Touchdown. A 13-yard touchdown run. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying Brandon the football McManus game. For the extra point. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. 
This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? McManus to kick off for Denver. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives, exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Down at the 40-yard line. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Escaping, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Von Miller doing what he does best with a sack. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Mahomes on the keeper. It's a gain of nine. Brings up third and 13. for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. 14, Broncos 13. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. It's fourth down. Looks like the offense is going to take another shot here. They're going on fourth and 13. They do go for it. It's Mahomes. He's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Facing a fourth down, they come away with 18 yards and the first down conversion. At the 46-yard line. To throw, it's Mahomes. Trying to fight his tight end, Kelsey, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 28, and they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. That was just one of those interceptions from our perspective here. We got a good view at the 50-yard line mid-level that quarterback and receiver were not on the same page. Just by his reaction, I'm talking about the quarterback, he expected something different from his receiver, whether he expected him to break in, out, deeper, shorter. They'll determine that on the sideline, but bottom line, you could see that he thought he'd be in a different spot, except the defender was not his intended target. They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Elvin Gordon, the ball carrier. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains. That means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. 
three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now they run from the gun with Gordon. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. On the carry. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Shotgun snap to lock. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. The offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They do go for it. It's Locke. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. It's a game of well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. A run with Lindsey out of the gun. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Of a yard brings up second and nine at the 41 yard line. Shotgun snap and a give to Lindsey. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Lock on third down. Able to get this to Gordon. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Denver. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 36. They'll give it to Gordon out of the shotgun. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage. Left in no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Lock. He'll get that complete to Albert O. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. by one of the Broncos up front, and in comes the flag. Now after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. Working out of the gun. Flush to his right. They're looking for Judy, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. 
Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 23. He got out of the pocket there, was wondering what he was going to do with it, but I think he was calling, his receiver was calling for the ball, wasn't he? He certainly was a problem. He called for it too late, and when he delivered, they were all over him in the secondary and came up with the interception. And oh, look at that, a diving catch. That's good. And a nice gain of 21 yards. I know you don't get anything extra for degree of difficulty, but maybe you should. He's done absolutely everything in this game today, including laying out for that one. Check, 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 check. Now Edwards Alaire. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. On second and nine, Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 31-yard line. Over 100 catches in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch in these playoffs. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. And he's got Hardman in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Nicole Hardman saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. Dutker on for the PAT. up to eight. Makes the score Chiefs 21, Broncos 13. Harrison now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. From the 22, here's second and eight. From the gun, block. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Armani Watts. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one, or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? Hey, 
So after the INT, here's Mahomes. They're going deep for Hill. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 69 yards. And the Chiefs strike quickly here for six points. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. And they will have a first down as they are definitely in field goal range now down at the 20-yard line. 20-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Lock again here on second and ten. Flushed out right. Finding the open man, and that's Tim Patrick. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and ten. Fakes the give to Gordon. Now here's Locke to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Intended for Courtney Sutton. Incomplete. It leads to second and 10. Second and 10. A very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. You should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So third and long now for Locke and the Broncos following the sack. from the gun. Lock. Got a man. It's Judy complete. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the timeout comes in with two seconds remaining. So they can trot out the field goal unit for the try before we hit the lockers. A 47-yard attempt. to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And it's complete. They're going to get the first. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Broncos get a bit closer. Denver. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. And now they'll elect to go for two and try to cut into this lead a little further before they head to the locker room. A final shot before half for Locke. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach... Harrison Butker to kick off. Winner go home. That's the name of the game. And we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional round. And this will make it into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. 
The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Brings up second. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Locked to throw on third and one. He's got a man, it's Sutton that's complete. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Just his second catch of the game so far, this one moves the chains. On first and 10, it's Lindsey. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Dorian O'Daniel, third round pick in 2018, made the tackle. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. This is caught inside the 15. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. First, it's a big play there for the Broncos. 45 yards. From the gun, lock. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. Lock to throw on second down. He'll find Lindsey here. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that is going to set up third and goal. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. A big one coming in this divisional round playoff, third and goal. Just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Chris Jones coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. So on fourth down, on comes Brandon McManus and the field goal unit for the Broncos. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. And McManus able to put it through, and that'll move him back within six now. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they inch a bit closer. Yeah, but still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you hear that clapping on the sidelines, right? Hey, got some points. As you said, inching their way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory. Takeover first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, 
We'll see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's we'll see how they adjust. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Second and ten here as we sit in the third quarter of this divisional round matchup. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Blue there, blue there. Hey, well, Mike 20, Mike. Hello. You better be a Working from the gun, Mahomes. Looking downfield for Kelsey. And that's caught inside the 35. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. City Chiefs. First and ten at the 33-yard line. Here we go, D. Hey, it's, just, it's, just, it's just me and you. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. On first down, Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there? down, got his hand in, and knocked it away. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. to throw once more. And he'll go back to Kelsey. This time it's caught. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 20-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. At the 20-yard line. Brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Edwards. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. They give them two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. They'll run with Edward to live. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. No gain on the play leads to second and goal. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. They'll run here with Edward Hilaire, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Not the kind of gain that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of gain that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's gonna get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Pressure right to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Thrown to the sideline and incomplete. 
It's now fourth down. So on fourth goal. down, out trots the kicker in a big spot Harrison here. Butker this to make it a two-score game. 23 yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. Good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. A big one there. That gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, bled a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. At their own 25-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And this could be the defining moment of their season, all hyperbole aside. You're trailing here in the fourth quarter, the divisional round, and they need to come up with something as they get this drive started. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. It's on the pickup, brings up second and two. From the gun, it's Locke. Throw left side, complete. That's Lindsey. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Back to back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. from the gun. Lock. He'll get this one to Patrick. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Throwing on first down is Locke. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Another try after the first down sack. Lock. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. He certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. The Broncos on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and forever. Play action. Now it's Locke. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 27. They fake the handoff, now lock. And Locke throws another one. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. Bring in the second screen. And he Bring will the... take this one home. It's a touchdown. And on that one, with six defensive backs, did he need to be more careful throwing the football? I mean, I guess obviously in hindsight he did, but. <laughs> yeah, hindsight, but even in foresight, when you get six defensive backs on the field, you just know you're going to get multiple coverages. You're never sure what you're going to see. But the biggest one is you don't have much reaction time for your receivers to go get the football because those guys, they're the best cover guys on the field. They go get it. And on that play, they took it the other way for six points. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 38, Broncos 22. 
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. We'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Shotgun snap to lock. And he's taken down. A cheap sack. Remember throughout my career here, defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. And they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Lock going to go on fourth down. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Jerry Judy, 79 yards. And the Broncos cut into that lead. When you're trailing in the fourth quarter, you got to take some chances you might not normally take, and here, that one pays off big time. And you have to think to yourself, not only did that time for them, but what was going on on the opposite side of the ball? They know that they have to take a chance here. They know they have to come up with something big, yet it still happens. So credit the execution, but wonder what the defense was doing. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. He's at the 50, the 30, 20, 10. In your face! And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. 28. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. Off the play fake. He'll set up to throw it. Well, Mahomes can't get away. And down he goes. And they brought the pressure there just right up the gut, didn't they? Yeah, they certainly did. And, you know, when you've got so many different responsibilities as an offensive line, you got to deal with the nose tackle, the two defensive tackles or ends, and then sometimes you just can't account for everyone. The linebacker slipped free. After the sack on first down, Mahomes taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Justin Simmons. Now with that interception, you feel like we got a ball game again. Remember, two-score contest and still time left here in the fourth. And in the old days, not too long gone either. Throwing the ball here would have been an absolute no-no. But the way the game's played now, throwing it makes sense. You just have to be careful when you put it in the air. After the turnover, here's Locke. He completes this to Sutton. And they'll get him down right at around the 11 yard line. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. He's going to let it fly. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way home for a Broncos score. 
Jerry Judy, 89 yards. And the Broncos have cut it to within a score. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. And I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. And it's up and good. Makes the score. Chiefs, 40. Broncos, 35. Brandon McManus to kick After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep, and he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And yeah, that'll bring up second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Third and five. to throw Mahomes and going deep for Hill now look at this they get the turnover they need it it's intercepted picked off by Justin Simmons you got the slim lead late and the football so why are you throwing it there remember during the year when we asked one of the head coaches you know if you're in this spot why would you throw the ball and he talked about trusting his quarterback and trusting his offense. But still. And then at the end, he kind of went, yeah, not really a good reason. <laughs> Escaping the pressure right. He goes full extension, and he's got it. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. From midfield, here's Locke. Got a man open, it's Sutton. Locked. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. And three at the 43-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Locked to throw. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. In the pocket, chucked it away. Flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field. Have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. So now it's third and long. Because remember, they also lose a down on the grounding call. to throw open man he completes it to Judy and he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25 that was no third and two that was third and 16 but they get the conversion anyway
He's back to throw. He's got his big tight end fan. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Complete to Noah Fan. No gain on the play. Brings up Fakes the give to Gordon. Now here's Locke to throw. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Complete now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout. As the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. From the third team now, they work on first and ten. Into the red zone, it's Lock. Flush to his right. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right, they got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. And now the offense is going to stay out there as the Broncos will go for two. Lindsey going to try and run it in, and he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. 43, Chiefs 40. Brandon McManus to kick off for Denver. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One, to get yourself in position for the second one. Whether you're able to get into field goal range or... You have and, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. At their own 26-yard line. This is Desby Music. Hey, yo. Yeah. Like